Angeles fits and the tantrums. Uh, tomorrow night, the former vice president, I say Dick Cheney will be here with, he'll talk about his new book with his best friend and favorite comedian, Carrot Top. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know they travel? I was stunned to learn that they're traveling together. I did not know it's that. It's amazing. Folks, it's time for one of our favorite bits called Pitch to America. You know, let me tell you something. You all complain, TV is terrible, movies suck, blah, blah, blah. Here's your chance to do something about it, okay? You know what a pitch meeting is? That's where people come in and they pitch to producers and directors their ideas for TV shows, okay? Or movies. We went to the Renaissance Hotel uh, in Hollywood where our friends at the Fade In Magazine had the 15th annual Hollywood Pitch Festival. And they pitch directly to the people who buy for the networks. So we chose some of it at random. We're going to show you their pitch, and you will decide whether their thing is sold or not sold. Okay? Here it is. Pitch to America. <laughs> Again, these are all real people with real ideas. Some sold, some did not sell. You be the judge. This first one gives, uh, well, this first pitch gives B-list celebrities something to do besides dancing with the stars. Take, take, take a look. Hello, Jay Leno. Uh, my name is Kasim Aslam. I'm from the Scottsdale, Arizona. I am pitching my film, The Comeback, which is about uh, the three favorite actors of mine. You have uh, Stephen Baldwin, Polly Shore, and, and Richard Grieco. And they decide that they are going to uh, hire uh, would-be Taliban to kidnap Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who is filming a film in India, in order to stage a rescue so that they can earn their way back into the hearts and minds of America and back into the A-list. The problem they run into is that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is actually kidnapped by real Taliban. And because they are the ones who put the ball in motion, they decide that it is their fate to actually save him. Okay, and I tell you, if you've ever been to Scottsdale, you know that is a real thick Scottsdale accent, isn't it? I mean, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, you heard the pitch. How many think it was sold? You like the idea of Dwayne Johnson? Okay, how many think it was not sold? Not nice, sold. Uh, let's see how savvy you are. Sold or not sold? Not sold! Very good, very good. This next pitch is a musical for children, but with an environmental message, you see? Take a look. Hi, my name is Glenn, and I've written plays and produced them in L.A. for 35 years. The main one is uh, Mark and Barbara Frog. Mark and Barbara Frog shows uh, the green concept of the frogs are disappearing because of the deterioration of the environment. Then it has 13 original songs. One of the key songs is Heart of the World. You feel the heart of the world, you know the heart of the world is beating in you. It ends with Mark and Barbara Frog die on the moon. Die on the moon. Yeah. That's so. That could be the greatest story ever told. Okay, a kid's story where they die on the moon. I don't know. You see, I am not the general public. How many think it was Soul? Yeah, yeah, that's Soul. Yeah. People like dead frogs on the moon. How many said not Soul? Not Soul. Take a look. Soul! That was Soul! See? See? Trust me. I know something. Well, if nothing else, this next pitch should be pretty easy to cast. Take a look. Hello America, my name is Gary Ow, I'm from Singapore, and my idea for a movie is Kim Jong-il goes to America. Now, I don't know anyone who can actually play Kim Jong-il. I mean, I've tried looking hard for a guy who can play Kim Jong-il, and I seriously don't know anyone who looks like this guy. But basically, it's about the president of North Korea coming over to the States, looking for his son who's run off to Disneyland, and he has to get a job as a taxi driver to find his son. And he gets in all sorts of wild hijinks, like his credit card's been cancelled, you know, he's got to learn the streets of LA, he's got to go all gangsta on some people to find where his son is, and that's my idea. That's right! Coming this fall to NBC! So you follow the story, a dictator's son went to Disneyland, so of course he is forced to take a job as a cab driver. <laughs> right. You know, I don't think uh, the real Kim Jong Il is as crazy as this guy. How many think it was Seoul? How many like that? Yeah. How many not Seoul? Take a look. Not Seoul. 
See, this is not easy. All right, one more. Now, is America ready for a religious sex comedy? You will be the judge. Take a look. Hi, I'm Margot Kelly from LA, and I'm here pitching my screenplay comedy movie, Go God. So, God is depressed. Yeah, he's, he's not feeling the love. So, he says to Mary, hold all my messages. Except for, from Harriet, because Harriet really loves God. And God really loves Harriet. Yeah, in that way. So when Satan finds out that God has a thing for Harriet, he has to have her. So God starts getting a little shaky, and he's starting to sweat bullets. So he sends Jesus to thwart all Satan's plans. Only Jesus and Harriet start to have a thing. So now God has to compete with Satan and his son? What the? Let the games begin. Only in Hollywood you would come up with a love triangle would be God, Jesus, and Satan. Okay? Um, this is why the Midwest loves Hollywood. Well, how many think it's sold? How many not sold? Let's take a look. Welcome to Hell Town! There you go! There you, there you go! This is why we're gonna burn in hell. Be right back with Hell